So now we are going to create a certificate for each level. So this time we are going to create a certificate for root CA. This is a root certificate authority. In the certificate chain, this is a top level of certificate. Even this is a top level, there's only two steps. So it should be easy. Right, so let's get started. Let's go check the current position first. Right, so we are in the home directory. And then we create the practice folder in the previous steps. Right, so let's go into this folder. Okay, so when we type tree command, right, so we can see all the files and the folders we created in the previous video. So now we are going to take the first step, which is create a private key. So let's do that. So this is a command. We are going to generate a private key. And then this location is under CA private. And then CA key is the name of the key file. So let's hit enter. All right, so we need to type the password. So let's do that. So type the password twice, right? Hit enter. So let's clear the page and hit the three key. So now you can see the private key was created under the private folder. Okay, so let's go check the permission of this key. Right, to do this, right, so hit enter. So you can see this private key has read and write access for owner user. But actually we don't need to write it. So let's change this permission. So we are going to apply the 400 to the private key. All right, so let's go check the permission again. Now you can see this file is only read access for the owner user. So that's more decent access, right? Okay, so next step is we are going to take the second step, which is create a public certificate key, right? So let's do that. Right, so this is a command. Let me explain some point. So you can see the CA conf. This is a configuration file we created in the previous video. So which is this? This is the original file here. Right, so this is a private key. We specify the location of the private key here. And then after that, this is days. I set up for 10 years, but you can adjust the date for you. The other part of the extension, you can see the b3 underscore cf. So what does it mean by that? This keyword you can find in the configuration file. If you scroll down a bit, right here, you see you can see the same keyword. This is the b3 underscore ca. So we specify the C location from the configuration file. Actually, when we create the intermediate certificate, this so we specify that this location instead of this CA. So this is the meaning of this parameter here. Right, so at the end, we are going to generate a certificate to this location. This is the meaning of this command. So let's hit enter. So let's type the passphrase for the private key. We just set it up in the previous steps. Now we are going to set up some attribute, something like a country name, company name, something like this. All right, in this case, I hit enter, just keep it blank. The default value is inside of square bracket. So if we hit enter, so this means blank in this case. And then company name also blank, that's fine. Uh, organization unit, that's okay, keep it blank. But common name is uh, important. This common name will be displayed like in the certificate file here. So that's why I'm going to type the same name, so practice hyphen root CA. So let's do that. Right, and hit enter. So this time email address also keep it blank. Okay, so that's it. So let's check the file location. Right, so now you can see the certificate CA salt is under salt folder. So let's check the permission. Right, 
So that one also read write read write access. So this is not the best way. So let's change the permission. This time 444 we are going to apply. So everyone in the anyone can read this file. Right, so let's go check that. Okay, so now you can see everyone has only read access. Right, so that's pretty much it for the CA certificate. So we finished the first step, second step, and then we actually create a key, private key, and also certificate file. All right, so let's clean up a bit. We successfully create a private key and certificate file for root CA. In the next video, we are going to create a certificate for Intermediate Certificate Authority.